Hey gang and welcome to this Sapper tutorial where you're going to learn how to create a multi-page website with Sapper and Svelte. Okay, so first things first, what is Sapper? Well, I'm on the Sapper website right here and it actually does a pretty good job of describing Sapper and also the docs are great as well, so definitely check those out. But down here it says Sapper is an application framework powered by Svelte. Build bigger apps with a smaller footprint. So basically, Sapper allows us to create larger Svelte apps and it comes complete with a couple of things. And one of those is a routing system where each route or page of your application is its own Svelte component. So if we went to mysite.com forward slash about, we would show an about component. If we requested mysite.com forward slash contact, then we would show a contact component. So each page or route that we have is linked with a particular Svelte component, which is then rendered to the browser when we visit that page. All right. So this allows us to easily create multi-page Svelte apps with many different routes and entry points to the application, which we couldn't really do easily with Svelte alone. Now, incidentally, if you are new to Svelte, I would definitely recommend learning that first. And you can do that by checking out this Svelte website over here. And the docs for this are also great. Plus we have some tutorials as well. And also I've got a complete Svelte for Beginners tutorial playlist on YouTube. So definitely check out that first as well. The link to this is gonna be down below. But anyway, as well as allowing us to use routing in our applications, Sapper also introduces server-side rendering to the mix as well, whereby component templates can be pre-rendered on a node server for the initial page load. Now that can be useful for SEO so that search engines can get better information from your different web pages. And also in some cases, it can improve performance as well. So in respect to those main features, it's a bit like Next.js for React, only this time Sapper is for Svelte. So previously, if you've used Svelte to create an application without Sapper, you'll know that Svelte components are all rendered inside the browser after the page first loads. So for example, we might send a request to mysite.com forward slash about, the server then responds with a blank or empty HTML page and the Svelte JavaScript bundle. And then the about component is then rendered inside the browser. Now, when we use Sapper with Svelte, that initial step of rendering the template is done on the server. So we request forward slash about, Sapper lets us then pre-render the component HTML template on the server, and then the resulting HTML page is sent to the browser or pre-rendered along with the compiled Svelte JavaScript bundle. And we can start to interact with the component right away. So Sapper takes the initial rendering step from the browser and it does that on the server instead. Thereafter though, the website in the browser becomes a single page application, an SBA, and all component rendering is done in the browser for new routes when a user clicks about links on the site. It's only the initial request for a web page that uses server side rendering. So this can be thought of as like an entry URL. It could be any route that your website has, forward slash about, forward slash contact, etc. Regardless of that URL, the first request to the website always returns a pre-rendered HTML page. And then after that, any requests made by clicking on links on the site are handled by the bundled JavaScript on the front end to dynamically show different components for each route. Now in this tutorial, we're gonna be creating a project from scratch that looks something like this, it's called Job Ninja, and this has several different pages using Sapper and Svelte, and also it has a job listing as well, and we can click on one of those jobs to see the details. We can also add a new job, so job title, let's say game tester, sounds good, amount 40,000, and then job details, blah, 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 and add a new job, and we can see that right here. So we can click on that for job details as well. So this is what we're gonna be building with Svelte and Sapper in this series. Again, I would definitely recommend learning Svelte before you attempt this series. I will be assuming that you at least know the basics of that and JavaScript in general. If not, definitely check out my Svelte tutorial on YouTube first. And also it would be beneficial if you understood the basics of what an API is with different endpoints. That's not absolutely essential, but it will be very helpful. 
Finally, I've also created course files for every single lesson in this series, and you can find them on this GitHub repo right here, Sapper Tutorial. The link to this is going to be down below, and each lesson in this series has its own branch over here. So if you want to see the code for lesson five, for example, you select the lesson five branch, and then you can see all of the code, all of the different folders right here. So that's your introduction out of the way. So to begin with, let's just make a brand new Sapper website in the next lesson.